Hey everybody, I hope you all are doing well. So I wanted to do this video. Um, we were having a conversation about the economy, then it moved into um, jobs, and then a black man in the group had mentioned uh, about black men having higher unemployment, okay? Then, surprise, surprise, my friend had mentioned well, the reason that, this shocked me, the reason that black men are having a higher unemployment is because the white man is giving all the jobs to black women. I'm like, dude, you gotta be, you gotta be kidding me. I'm like, where'd you get, th I said, this sounds like something from like in the sixties, you know, oh, they threw him out the home. Was his name on the mortgage or on the lease? Then it wasn't his home. If his name is on the mortgage, on the lease, and the payments, and the payments are like totally accurate, if that is the case, then they can't throw him out the home. More than likely, it was the black woman's place because her man was not a provider. It was her place, and so he came there to stay, and he wasn't employed, and they know that he'll pump a baby in him, to, and the black woman's going to carry his child, and then you look, uh, um, more children being born, the state's going to have to pay for, so hey, he, he got to go, and black women are going to be like, oh no, about him having a job, like, uh, well, uh, let's see, uh, well, I ain't no man around, but it's like, so, but ma'am, if he, there's no man around, can you kind of explain, how did you get pregnant? That That's the part right there, just not understanding. You got a house full of cheering or children, but there is no man around. So, one more time. How'd you get pregnant? Okay. So I said to him, I said, listen, that sounds like an old cliche. I said, and here's the thing, if we're going to be realistic, that's in the sixties. I've heard this before. And it may have been before from what I saw the documentary it's like from the sixties. So if you know that there's a group that's in control of jobs that you need to survive and provide for yourself and your children, and that group like really doesn't like you, uh, can you explain something to me? Because I don't understand. Why would you depend on them to go ahead and uh, take care of you? Why would you not build? That's all I'm asking. So only a fool would know, oh my goodness, my next door neighbor doesn't like me and I'm depending on them for a ride. They may take me, they may not. More oftentimes not. So I may want to try to get some funds together, you know, um, Rely on Tom and Jerry, ride share, get something else going. That would be the sensical, intelligent thing to do so you don't rely on the other guy. And so he says, yeah, because, you know, black women are taking the job from black men. And I thought to myself, I'm like, so quick question. I'm asking for a friend. And then I'll get to the point real quick when I what, what I say kind of tilted things. What are black women supposed to do? Is we are led by a matriarch. So please tell me what are black women supposed to do? Are they supposed to sit up there and just wait for the men to go out there and get a job and provide for the family? Because you and I both know that's a bunch of BS. Let's not lie. Are they supposed to sit up there and wait for them, go ahead and let the men go out there and get jobs, and then he's going to come home with a check and provide for his family? Please don't lie. Do not lie. We both know that's not how it goes. Even when they have money. Known to disappear from the children. He'll be gone, baby gone. So explain to me what's supposed to, I mean, what's, what's really going on? Explain to me what exactly is supposed to happen here. Cause I, I really, I, I'm asking for a friend. What's supposed to happen? The women have to work. If they don't work, the, the children will starve out. The whole community will more than likely starve out. 
it was for black women in Zaddy. Here, see, here's the deal. And I say, here's what you don't seem to realize. That information is old and it's played out. And I'm going to go ahead and say this. Believe it or not, if you just stand back and look and be objective and not, not emotional, not in our feelings, believe it or not, black men do not have it as hard as you think. No. See, these men here, and this is a positive photo. photo. Uh, they're in Sioux. Some people feel some kind of way. Okay. Uh, a whole line of black men dressed appropriately. Okay. Believe it or not, here's the edge that black men have that black women don't. And this is why I say black men have it easier than black women. You want to know why they do and why I say that? Because any day of the week, let's say these men here, they're going to go for business, a job, whatever's going on. They may have their own thing going on. If they do, congratulations. But let's be real. If we're going to be totally honest, in the black community, check this out. The in the black community, a black man can go get a job. He can get fired, and don't be don't be a thug. A man, if you a thug, you got it made up in hair. If you are one of the thugs, you got it hella made. No, no joke. You you don't have to worry. Why? Cause the community is gonna see about you. Oh, yeah, they're going to see about you. Now, you can be a black man and you can say, hey, you know what? I've been looking for a job. My business failed or help for business somebody who comes home from jail. Black men can't afford to fail. Black men can't. They can't afford if anybody they can afford to have a setback. You want to bet? They can afford to have a setback because guess what? No matter what happens. I promise you, no matter what happens, these men have a community that they can come back and rely on and sit up and chill, treat it like the princess, the princess diaries, the Negro diaries. Yeah, they can afford to say, hey, you know what? It just didn't work off, work out. Um, I'm not going to work because my baby mama's going to get all this money. Really? Yeah, so I'm not going to do it. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. And in this community, they'll more than likely look at the baby mama as, oh, yeah, she's the problem. Who's the problem? She is. What's the problem? Well, she had those kids by that man. It's never him. See, he always has the possibility, the option, no matter what happens in the outside world because he's been coddled. So when a black man goes out into the... The society where the majority of people don't look like him. And if there's a failure or a setback or he can't cope, guess what? He has an option to always run back to the black community. And guess what? He'll be coddled. Well, come on back home to mama, your, to your baby mama, big mama. He has an option to go back home to the black community. There was no accountability. There are no questions asked like what happened. Well, you have to get back up and try again. No, 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 no. He can just come back to the community and rest. And they'll coddle him and protect him. And he will be provided for. You, you think? Look, look at the ones. Okay, not saying these guys. But look at the Pook and Ray Ray. They can go out there and commit a crime. It's going to be okay. Somebody going to hide him out. Remember the one that he had been missing for, I think, maybe, I don't know if it's like month, six months or a year. And then he was so stupid. There was a warrant out for his arrest. And he was so stupid, he went and called the police at McDonald's about the french fries. And then waited. And then they went to check and realized that, hey, yeah, you, um, we got a little problem. What was the problem? There was a warrant out for your arrest. He was that dumb. That dumb. So think about it. How was he being hit at all those times? Somebody's taking him in. Yeah. Take him in. He doesn't have to worry. He wasn't on a job, you think? No, because they could check the system and check for, you know, uh, payroll, taxes, th anything. And they could find him. So they don't have it as hard as you think. Black women don't have that option. You cannot afford to fail. Oh, my job laid me off. Hmm. Sit down for five minutes. I guess you go, when are you going to start looking for a new one? 
black mama's reaction is going to be totally different. For her son, she want to go ahead and coddle him and let him have a little old seat and just kind of, you know, sit down for a minute. Don't want to get, get this man too upset now. Uh-huh. Don't want to get him too upset now. Let him kind of relax for a minute. But a black female... You don't have that option. When things get bad for you, this community, you're going to have to uh, hustle up on something. I've seen black, a black parent. A black girl has one job, the early shift. So what's going on now? You can go ahead and get you another shift. I even saw a black man out of his mouth. He had a black fiance. And she'd work like a, I don't know if it's a seven or three or seven or four shift. And you know what he said? I was like, wow. Yeah, this might be a time for a wedding over. You know what he said? Well, you can go ahead and get you a second time job at the mall. This is the fiance now. You can get you a part time job at the mall. Wow. Really? You think he'd tell Becca Lena that? No, it's a black woman, the hustle, a hustler, a mule. That's what you're born to do. That's why I said what I said. Black men don't have it as hard as black women because they always have the option, no matter what goes on in the outside world, out there, outside the BC, but the greater majority, no matter what goes on outside there, if he can't hack it, he can just teeter on back to the BC. A black queen mama, now she might have one of these right here working. And she'll be going, son, hey, son, how you doing? How's that business doing? You think you might can hire your brother? You can't because um, if he has a thieving problem, he might steal from you or steal a customer's identity. You can't. You think you might can hire your brother? Or better yet, can he come and stay with you? Can you come help him out? Some things you see, and it's in other people's families, it's best not to say anything. It's best just to listen. You know, like if you have a friend, sometimes it's best just to listen. Because it's like, wow, it's not your place. And that's Black Queen Mama. That's Big Mama. So you just don't say anything because, again, it's their family. I actually, uh, you know how people talk about like, oh, this is so-and-so. He's a family loser. It's always some drama with this guy. It's always some trouble. Yeah, yeah, understood. And what do you think happened? The mother is asking one of the daughters, literally, can she take care of a grown man? Well, if something happened to me, what's going to happen to him? Really? A grown man? He has arms and uh, legs. You're just kind of dumb in the head. To ask your daughter to take care of a grown man, what's he going to do all his life? What he's doing now, the mama's taking care of him, and she becomes ill, and she's wanting to know if something happens to her, if the sister can take care of her brother. What's Mima going to do? But it's what about the black woman? Oh, you're going to be fine. You know how to hustle and get you two jobs? You might can work in time for three. Duly noted. Duly noted. Duly noted. Yeah. Uh, understood. This is where we are. So this here, I just don't buy it. Because I know that the men in the community, and not saying these men on the screen because I don't know them, but the black men, they have an option that black women don't. They can always come back to the hood, to this community. And no matter what happens, they have the option to just sit and relax. Chill like that. Yeah. That's an option. To sit and relax and chill like that. Why? Black queen mama going to take her son. Black queen grandma baby mama, they're going to take care of these men. Black women don't have that option. You lose your job or anything, and you're being productive, and don't be one that's going to school. Well, I guess you're going to have to stop going to school and go get you a, another job then. Well, I have to leave that job or just mess with my schedule. Your schedule? 
You're not a prince in the black community. You're the work horse. You're the mule. So this here, when I heard that guy say that, I'd let him know. That is nonsensical. Again, if the white man is holding the jobs and giving them to black women, the black man, you should have been creating your own. You should have been been creating your own. This is old and played out. In addition, are black women supposed to just sit at home and say, oh, no, uh, we're not going to take these jobs. We're going to go ahead and strike and let, the, and let these black men have these jobs. Give them those jobs and see what's going to happen. Some will never come home. Let's be realistic. They get wealth now. You can see what they do. Let's not act like, oh, the black women shouldn't take those jobs and let the black men have those jobs. And then that way, the black man is going to work. Uh-huh. He's going to work. And then he's going to go ahead and uh, he's going to have an actual wife, not a baby mama. He's going to work and then he's going to go home and take care of that family and make sure they have what they need. That's a joke. Remember Sports Illustrated? And we're talking about the wealthy, what is it? The wealthy um, athletes. Where's daddy? Making millions of dollars and they still got to ask, where's your daddy? So when they have money, not there. When they don't have money, not there. What's the common denominator? The black men are not there. Why? My opinion, you're not there because they don't care. So I'm like, that whole concept, this is so antiquated. The black white man's giving them all a job. So at one point, do you realize, hey, you know what? Let's stop having children that we can't feed. Let's cease the breed because we can't feed. And let's try to get to some solution making. Having more kids is not going to do it. You're just building more poverty. At what point do you start to build for yourself? I'm asking for a friend. At what point do you do that? Start to build for yourselves. Get more involved with your own children. So they're not in gangs. At what point do you do that? See, the community is too far gone. This is all antiquated. It's just an excuse. And like I said before, said again, I still stand by it. They have a luxury that black women do not have. And what that luxury is, they have the luxury to sit and chill. No matter what happens, be it a job loss, home from jail, they have a luxury. <coughs> Excuse me. The BC is going to be there for them. Oh, well, we don't want to come on, have a seat. Oh, they did that to you. Black Queen Mama is not going to put any pressure on her son, not even to work one job. She went for her daughter. Big mama at the church. Then what they'll do, they'll try to find some black woman with a good job at the so-called church and burden her down with that uh, with their uh, low vibrational man. So yeah, they don't they have an option. They can always come back to the BC. And it's gonna be all right. Black women don't have that option. Anyway, let me know what you all think. Feel free to comment, like, subscribe, and share. And I'm out.